Hi friends, welcome back to my channel or hello if you are new. Today we're doing another fall decorate with me video, getting inspiration for the fall season that is coming up really, really soon. So today I drug out my fall totes from downstairs and I am going to go through all of the decor that I've used in previous years that I'm gonna also use this year. But this is my collection that I'm going to build off of. I'll try to tell you guys where everything is from, if I remember, and if I am able to link anything, I will do so down below. This is actually my second time filming this video. I did actually have all my totes out and I pulled everything out on my kitchen table. But whenever I went to edit that video, the audio was completely off. I'm refilming it, so it's gonna be formatted a little bit different, but I think I actually like it better because I have separated everything out into categories categories but I'm gonna break it down by pumpkins kitchen decor throw pillows and then all of my fall floral stems I'm sure I probably have more items like tucked away in the kitchen I know I have some like little pumpkin salt and pepper shakers that I haven't pulled out so whenever I do my actual fall decorate with me videos you guys will probably see a few more items that I probably have just forgotten about so this morning I had everything ready I made my coffee I had a notebook and I was writing down things as I was going through my decor that I was looking for whenever I go shopping that's one thing that I love to do before I even go shopping for fall decor is look at everything that I have already and see if I'm going to sell anything, if I'm going to donate, or even just see if friends or family want any of the items. This afternoon, my mom stopped by and she grabbed a few of the items that I had set aside in that pile. And I still have a few more things, so I'm gonna ask a few more people if they wanna look through it, and then I'll probably just donate the rest. Before we get started in today's haul, I wanted to tell you guys an update about the Armora Claustrum that I've been taking for about two months now. Last time I updated you, I've been taking it for a month and now this is month two and I feel like I am seeing such good improvement just overall I feel like my skin is still clear my hair is growing like super fast there's nothing else that I've changed other than adding the armra colostrum into my diet so I usually take about two to three scoops in the morning with my iced coffee I make sure to get the coffee cold first and then I will add in the armra colostrum and I have a frother for from them that is like super high speed even if there's ice in the cup it stirs it really good and it dissolves quickly I will do two to three scoops a day typically I have missed some days and I'm still seeing really great results but I will say I can tell a difference when I don't take it armor colostrum is physician founded and it has over 400 plus nutrients in it and they're able to keep those nutrients with the way they pasteurize the colostrum and it's a whole food so it's very bioavailable I've really been enjoying Enjoying it and if you guys want to try it out for yourself you and get 15% off your first order just go to tryarmora.com forward slash Kaylin cash for 15% off your first order that's tryarmora.com forward slash Kaylin cash and thank you to Armora for sponsoring this portion of today's video I'll have that information linked down below in the description box but now let's get into the haul I'm scooting back because I have like all of this decor around me. Let's start with the pumpkins and we'll end with the florals. I'm not going in any particular order, but I love getting pumpkin pillows. These have been like a new trend over the last few years. You can pretty much get them anywhere now. Home Goods, TJ Maxx, even Aldi had them last year. Darker brown colored and it has a jute stem. I also have this one here that's a little bit lighter brown and it has like a real stem, but it's still very like squishy and cozy looking. So I put these on my couches, but you could also have them on shelves. That would look cute too. This pumpkin here was from Hobby Lobby and I bought it a few years ago and I still love it. It's just like a braided jute natural, but it's very soft. The inside is hard though. So you wouldn't want to put this on your couch like a pumpkin pillow. Um, and it has little twigs for the stem. And I pretty much keep with neutral colors. I don't do any like bright orange pumpkins. I did buy a terracotta pumpkin this year that I, I haven't had any of those in the past. I think I DIY'd one one year, but I'm not sure if it turned out <laughs> because I couldn't find it when I was looking through my stuff. 
but I have this one here. This looks very realistic, I think. This one's from Hobby Lobby, and it's like a shorter shape. I love getting ones that look like real pumpkins as far as the shape goes. So here's this one. It has a really pretty stem. This one here is really cute. It's a smaller size. It's like a rust color. This one is from Threshold like the cream stem. I've used that one for a couple of years now. And then to kind of to go with that one, I have this little cream one that's also from Threshold and it's kind of like a concrete material. I do love this little green one. Um, this is probably the brightest color that I have. I have two green pumpkins. I have a darker one that I'm hoping I can find. And then I have this like lighter one. Um, but they look like those like Cinderella pumpkins. And then my favorite pumpkins that I probably ever bought are these from Kirkland's. They usually come out with them every year and I think they come in orange, white, and green. And they come in different shapes and sizes, but I think these are so realistic. They are so cute. I went with the white ones and they're a little more speckled. They look kind of dimply very very realistic the stem is very realistic these are a little bit pricier though probably the most expensive pumpkins that i've ever bought um like for this size there this one was originally 25 and this one was 19. Um, but i caught them when they were half off so i'm always looking for sales it was like a one day sale that kirkland's had on these specific pumpkins so if i see that they're on sale again this year i will be sure to share that over on instagram i also have a few wooden pumpkins um i have this one in like a taller size i think this was from probably tj maxx or home goods it has a gold stem on it and then i have this smaller one that also has like more of a brass stem it's a little bit lighter of a brown and then last year i invested in like a bigger size pumpkin i'll show you for size reference. So here's my little white one. Um, and then here's this big like wicker pumpkin. I wanna say this was like $25, but it's such a good size. And it's one that I will probably style like on the floor next to a bench, but I love all of the texture on this one. It's very neutral. I have lots of like baskets. I have this wicker chest. I have jute hoofs in front of some of our chairs in the living room. So I feel like it'll flow really nicely with the rest of the decor. Okay, that's all of the pumpkins that I have. Now I will say I have some in the exact same like color, they're just a different size. So in this pumpkin, I have a few more that are smaller. I have some that are bigger in this size, but I, just for the sake of time, I didn't show you every single one that I had. It's pretty much the majority other than just some small ones. I do have like some little small white ones that I use as bowl filler from Hobby Lobby, but I haven't found those yet either. <laughs> I usually keep everything in a tote, so maybe I'm missing like a small tote or something. Okay, next up are some dried gourds. I found these at the Found Cottage Market last year when we went up to Holland, Michigan. I picked up a bunch of dried gourds. I love using these. And I have this bowl that I also got at the Found Cottage. And um, I have some gourds inside of there. So this is probably how I will style these, either on my floating shelves in the kitchen or on my kitchen counters. I think it's very just natural and pretty. So now we're in the kitchen category. So first up, I had that bowl that had like the brown striping on it. I love looking for old pottery pieces like that um, that have brown on them. And I will even use those all year round in my home because I do use a lot of brown in my decor already. But I also have these thermoses and the, they're just like old vintage thermoses. I think they're so cute. They're in those fall colors that I think are so pretty. So I'm gonna be styling these in the kitchen. Then I have a few pumpkin things, like dishes. First is this pie holder. Um, this one I found at Dollar General for $12 of all places. Um, but you can just set your pie in there and it's got a cute little top on it. I think I am gonna put rub and buff on this gold stem though, because it's like, it's like a bright gold and I'd rather have it a little more muted. So I'll probably do that here soon before I put it out in my kitchen. But I also have this soup container or what's it called? You guys let me know in the comments. I know last year 
Um, you guys told me what this was, like soute or something. I don't know. It's like a little soup bowl basically, but I found this at a vintage market and it has this little leaf ladle. I think it's so cute. And um, last year I actually used this um, on our fall supper club night and I made this like chicken, sweet potato and apple casserole and it was so good. And I just served it in this bowl. It's so cute. So I will put this on my open shelves in the kitchen. Then the last thing I'll probably style in the kitchen is this little acorn basket. I think this is so cute. Um, I found this at an antique store too and I just love it. You could store some cute little things in it. It would be cute in a bathroom. I don't know. I think the acorn is adorable. Okay, I also have this landscape picture. This one I found at a barn sale and it looks, I don't know, original. So I would say that it might be printed. It might be, well, actually, no, it has a signature. So this was um, original artwork. The frame is pretty beat up, but Kind of like it that way um it's a darker brown which i like bringing in those colors for fall and i love this tree in this picture i don't know i think it's so pretty it has a barn in the background i made a faux tree last year that i put in our dining room and i based it off of this tree in this picture so it kind of leans the same way the color of the leaves are about the same they're a little more like reddish brown and yeah, I'm gonna be putting this probably in my living room this year. Last year I put it in the kitchen. So if you wanna go back and see how I use these pieces, you can look at my fall 2023 playlist. Okay, now let's move on to pillows. The first pillow that I brought back out is this one here. It's kind of like a rust color. It's like a brown rust. This one I think was from either Home Goods or TJ Maxx, one of the two. I feel like it's pulling up more orange on camera, but it's definitely more brown and cream. And I think this will be really pretty to add into the couch. And then I always bring this plaid pillow out. This one's from Target. Um, it's from Threshold and it's just like different shades of brown plaid and then i have a pillow cover that i put um, a pillow in this is like a linen type blend from amazon i love the little fringe details together will be really pretty so that's kind of the style that i'm going for but i also love to mix prints i love doing floral prints with plaids um, and different types of plaids too so i think that's really pretty okay now let's get into the floral stems i have a few so the first one i wanted to show you guys was this tree that's behind me um this one is from hobby lobby it is my favorite favorite little tree i think it i don't know just makes such a big statement even though it's small and the leaves are like this really pretty tan color but they have like darker veining in them it's so pretty and i Went to Hobby Lobby already. I have my shop with me video up if you want to see what they had out that I that caught my eye. But I did not see these trees and I'm so sad about it. Hopefully they will bring them back in. I don't know, but um, I love this tree. I think they're cute to just pop into a little corner. Stems here I picked up at Michael's last year and I had quite a few of them. I think three different um bushels like this they were half off they were very affordable and i think they're just such a pretty color here i actually have them in the walmart planter that we all have black thistle i think they're actually called blue thistle stems on hobby lobby's website um, i used these last year i think i used these in the kitchen if i'm not mistaken um, but this year i'm planning on putting them into a basket and hanging them um, on some hooks in our dining room. Also have this little wreath. I think this is from Hearth and Hand a few years ago, um, but it's just like a really pretty, almost like reddish color, like a reddish brown little wreath. I love adding these to doors or even my hood vent over our stove. Little peg shelves. I think those are really cute. You could also um, lay it flat and have a candle in the middle or a pumpkin. I think that would be cute as well. And then another stem that I love that I'm going to be bringing back is this magnolia stem from Hobby Lobby. 
Um, I think the color of the magnolia leaves are so pretty. I also have some twigs in it and some pine cones. And I usually, I've got four stems and like hide the stems behind each other and I will lay them along our fireplace mantle. And then I have one more stem. I want to say these were either from Joann's or Michael's. I think they were from Michael's last year, but um, they're these leaf stems and I love them. They're definitely more brown, um, but they have some white on them and I think they're really, really pretty. They're a very tall stem, so I have a larger vase that I'm planning on putting these in. I have three of them, so we'll see if I put all three stems in one vase. It's a the vase is like this big, so it's very large. So I wanted some bigger stems to put in that. And then I do have some picks that are in this same leaf that I got from Hobby Lobby last year. And I'm planning on putting those over our big window in our kitchen. And that is everything that I pulled out from my fall totes that I'm planning on using again this year. So I hope this gave you a little bit of inspiration if you're looking for some fall things. I also always keep a stash of fall candles in um, my built-in cabinets in our living room. So I'm gonna see what scents I have left over from last year. I'm also going to a fall candle making class in a few weeks that I'm really excited about. So I'll be making some fall scents um, when we do that. I'm hoping I can film that night because I think it'd be really neat to take you guys in and you guys can like walk through the process of making the candles too. I've already done a class, I think twice now, and it is so much fun. Another thing I didn't share were the wheat wreaths. I have a few of those. I used one on my hood vent last year, and I'm gonna be incorporating it into, um, I think our dining room this year. I love those too, anything that's natural. But going through all my decor shows me what I have. I can like take inventory, I can start, placing these pieces around our home and then I can see what I'm looking for whenever I'm going into the store. So thanks for coming along with me today. And I said, don't forget to subscribe because I have so much fall content coming your way, but I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you all soon in my next one. Bye friends. Mm -hmm.